grandmother looked it up, right? Well, first, a friend of yours in um, where we come from, his mother had told me about a place that she heard about, and we were trying to locate it, and then, yeah, her grandmother was able to find a referral place, so we got the referral for that. There was a point in time where I was really depressed in my life and I didn't know what to do, so my mother found it a good idea to go to a hospital and when short terms didn't really work, we came to a long term agreement that I would be here. But it, it was a mutual agreement yes. because I asked you, because you came to me, mm -hmm. and I, I said, help. do you want to go? I needed help. And she said, yes, I, I need help. This facility, it actually, it was a lot nicer than any of the ones where we lived, and... Well, there's there's not a whole lot that we found that are the longer-term yeah. placements, and and some of them that, that are... Wouldn't take our insurance. Don't take insurance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so this was, you know, it was a godsend that, that um, you all were here, and plus... You know, the location's nice. For Rocky Recovery, I was here before it started, and when it started, it was really helpful. I didn't really think I needed help from an eating disorder until I knew I needed help. And when they started up Unity, I wasn't there at first, and then they transferred me over to Unity, and that was really helpful. As far as mine, I was terrified because we're from Texas and it's so far away and, you know, sending her so far away knowing that I wouldn't be able to visit that often. But the staff seemed like they were very caring. You know, they really stick to the confidentiality rules, which I appreciate, even though we don't have anybody around here. Yeah, everybody was professional. The intake process was very thorough, and that's something that I appreciated because it's, I mean, where she'd been before, it was like, well, how do you feel? Bad. Okay, well, let's put you up here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this was, I mean, it was, it was a very thorough intake process. Yes. Yeah. We appreciated yeah. that. I like the fact that they have to give you a certain analysis before you accept it into Sovereign Health because that means like you're picked. It isn't a you need to go here now, it's a we're going to choose you by how your health is and you're going to get the help you need. I just wanted to get help. I needed to get help actually. And this place met my expectations above and beyond because I thought it was going to be like the other treatment centers. And I was told here that in the beginning I looked like a lost cause. I was really upset and I remember in one of the groups I was asked to share something that um, I really liked about myself and I couldn't think of anything. And now I can say all of these things that I like about myself, all of the things that are good about the world, everybody I love, everyone that's close to me, and I've really, I've made it work. And I think our expectations, you know, on, as far as our family or you do need to find something to help you grow, and I know they have the, uh, the art therapy and the you know to help the kids find things that they're good at and that they enjoy doing and that was important to us um, as well as her getting the tools that she needs and finding things that work for her when, when she needs something. I originally lived in Bravery and I lived there for about half of my treatment and it was a very lovely place. I loved it and when I moved to Unity it was beautiful. My favorite thing about Sovereign is the staff. 
I love them dearly because they've really helped. I've had staff that haven't just watched over me, they've interacted with me. And it wasn't a, you need to do this, you need to do that. I'm going to do this with you because I'm going to help you. And that's really important to me. I, I do like the fact that she had an individual therapist, that we had a family therapist, that there was a case manager that I heard from every other day because at some of the acute care places where she stayed 10 days, it was seven days before I heard anything. Yeah. You know, keeping in contact, if I ever had any questions, I could call the clinicians and ask them and they would get back to me as soon as possible. As far as the activities, I know you had you had Edge, so your school, and she worked very closely with Riley's school back home, which was very good on both of their behalves because they didn't, you know, her school at home didn't have to do that, but they care about her too, and they wanted it to work, and she did pass. So, because uh, <laughs> she had missed the last couple months the school. So I've just I've been pleased with everything and I know you've had some a lot of therapy groups. Yeah. My favorite part of the program was my clinician and my patient advocate because they were both really nice people and they worked with me and they made sure I felt secure here. I think we learned a lot. Yeah. I think we have learned to understand each other more. We um, are learning how to work more as a unit as opposed to it's your job, it's your job, it's your job, it's your job, it's everybody's job. Yeah. And we need to work as a unit and, you know, really learning more about Riley because she's special and unique and we're trying to get her to come out of her room, and now she says she will. <laughs> and There's never been a time I isolate my room. And we also learned some things through this process that we didn't know about um, about some of the things that she was going through, like uh, hallucinations. Auditory and, and visual. And I think you'd mentioned it once or twice, and it was trying to be explained away, and it's not something that can be explained away. I know people who describe like drugs and going on acid or like we have wicked hallucinations and I'm like, oh, it's just me every day. But the meds have really helped. Like they're just, they're really like small now. Like they're harder to notice. Like instead of like people, it'll just be like cats or bugs. Like, and like that's not that. And like even then they're lessening and lessening. When I know in the family therapy also, you know, that's something that we learned because right, Rachel, <laughs> her sister and um, her have butted heads. They're very different. Yes. And occasionally her sister would go into her room and um, try talking to her and Riley would turn up the music. And sister would get mad and storm out and, you know, and she was finally able to explain to us it's because I'm trying to drown out the voices that I'm hearing so I can focus on her. Yeah. And that's nothing that I would have ever imagined and that's nothing that anybody in the family would have ever imagined. I enjoy art therapy a lot because it was easy to express myself and it was beautiful. Um, the art therapy teacher was very friendly. The fact that I'm sitting here today and smiling and not or tapping my leg as bad, like it, Nicole thought it was an earthquake one time. <laughs> wow. it, it was bad. I've had less anxiety and I can take my PRN whenever I need it. I think I am a lot more understanding. I have shared some things with Riley that, you know, in the past I didn't 
feel it was necessary because it was just some things that had happened in my past that frankly was nobody's business. But you know, it 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 was, and and it was helpful, and and I'm glad that it was helpful, and you know, I think it opened some doors of communication there, so I think we can share things a little bit more. And I hope you know that I will always be there for you no matter what. I think she's more willing to talk about things. She, you know, she, she told me the other day, I have nails now. Yeah. And I'm looking, and she has nails now, and they used to be a bit down to, almost down to the quick, and she seems more relaxed and more wanting to interact with her friends. I mean, she just, first thing we did when we got here is she called one of her friends, and you know, her birthday's coming up, and we've got a list of people that we want to invite to the party. If I would have chosen any rehab to be, I would have chosen this place. This place was really like a gift to be here. Like, Sovereign Health isn't a place that you stumble upon. It's a place that finds you when you need it most.